Yo, what's up, gamers? I'm here with an actual Mario RPG ROM hack today. Um, the easiest way I can show you is if I probably reset the game again. I want to show you the tile screen. So this is a kind of newish ROM hack, actually. I think it came out, like, a few years ago. It's called Super Mario RPG Masters. I'm gonna pull up the, uh, the page for it. Well, the current version was released... Or the version that I have was released three years ago. But, in my opinion, that's still, like, fairly recent. <laughs> It's not, it's, I mean, it doesn't have the same legacy that, you know, Mar RPG Armageddon and Revolution have, at least. I can tell you that. But, I was thinking of ideas for new Mar RPG ROM hacks to play on the channel, and I was kind of deciding between this one and Mar RPG Master Quest. I know, it's very confusing, they both have Master in the name. This is Master Silver, which is, um... I got this on Game Banana, <laughs> not on romhacking.net, which by the way, rip romhacking.net. Apparently they're just a news site now, so uh, that's pretty bad for the future of rom hacking. I don't know where I'm going to get my hacks now, but we'll see. Also, the, uh, the audio is good, right? It's like not too loud. Yeah, I think it's good. So, uh, I'll just say right now, um, the original plan for tonight was I was going to play Puyo Pop Fever with Dominic. I was also going to play Metal Gear Solid 2 with Jay. I was also going to play Paper Jam. Guess what? All three of those didn't happen. So I need something else to do, and I need a new series because I'm done Pac-Man World 2. So I'm going to do a RPG ROM hack because i kind of been in the mood for one. And also I haven't done a RPG series with face cam before if you don't count the randomizer because i did uh, armageddon a couple of years ago i've done the remake so i've had a lot of mar rpg experience as of late <laughs> and um yeah i'm just gonna play a bunch of mar rpg hacks on the channel you know anyways we're gonna go with the classic the classic name moonis it's just my name from now on But yeah, um, this is just one of those games that I can just always come back to, even after playing the remake. Same goes for Mario, uh, Paper Mario TTYD. TTYD, I just always come back to the original regardless of if I played the remake or not. Because this game's timeless. This game has not aged. I don't care what people say about this game. It has not aged a day. <laughs> I can play this game, like, any day of the week, and it never gets old. But, I guess we're gonna find out, uh, you know, just what's changed about this. Because, I'm not expecting this first episode to be all that interesting. Well, I mean, there's a save point, that's already new. Thinks I'm in Mario's pad. What the hell? Frog coin? What? <laughs> okay, so I have some experience with hacking this game. Uh, I made two really shitty hacks back in 2016, if you guys don't remember or haven't heard. And, yeah, the way this game works is if you have not... Depending on your story sequence, even if you save in Bowser's Keep, the game will think you're in Mario's pad. <laughs> Which is very strange. And we have the, we have the very funny... Um, why do I only have 5 FP? We have the very funny tarot pins. Which only takes seven damage, apparently. <laughs> That's very strange already. No point in fighting these guys, I'm just gonna run past them. Well, they're already doing um, a pretty iconic thing where um, they decide to make the tarot pins do the frickin' sword attack. <laughs> Which is a- I love that attack. Ow. <laughs> I need to remember how to perfect guard again. Spin a bit. 
I mean, the, here's the thing, right? I feel like the remake is way too generous with the timing. The timing is very generous in that game. At least, that's what it felt like. Oh man, I feel like they made the timing a bit harder. <laughs> yeah, I'm only down to 7 health now. Well, that's one way to make this harder. <laughs> this room seems largely unchanged. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of a sprite glitch there. I think I've encountered that glitch before. Not sure why that happens exactly. Don't worry about it too much. <laughs> Oh wow, gray text box. <laughs> or black text box? I don't know. Well, you can only go after Bower. Okay. Only Bower time. And that's the only jump I get, wow. So they're already changing this fight up. <laughs> Fireball? <laughs> Damn, Bower, chill. What a joke. So you're kind of forced to fight. You're kind of forced to go after Bower there. <laughs> Four damage. Okay, they do give you a mushroom, thankfully. It's called Red Shroom. Oh, heals 60 now. I'll get my FP back still, though. Hopefully I can do this first try. I mean, hey, at least it's called Fireball and not Hot Shot. <laughs> I still find that to be one of the weirdest changes in the remake, that they renamed Drain to Hot Shot. <laughs> like, Fireball? Nah. Too simple. We gotta call it Hot Shot. <laughs> Come on, King Clink, you gotta go down. There we go. <laughs> I was worried Bowser was gonna go for, um... Like, what do you call it? I was worried he was gonna go for Fireball again. He only did it, like, once, but still. I'm just excited to get to the good stuff. Oh yeah, there is another Mario RPG hack that I heard about that I want to play. It's called, um, it's called Super Luigi RPG Star Powered. Which, um, definitely does a better job at taking the whole Super Luigi RPG idea. <laughs> I mean, that's not an original idea. I kind of went with it, and I didn't really do much with it. But I think, um... That star-powered hack, it looks really promising. Well, I mean, in general, there's just a lot of good hacks that I want to play. Oh, there's the logo, Masters. <laughs> or no, just the Super Mario RPG. I like how you didn't change the RPG logo, that's like really cool. Zit. Okay, I was not expecting this music. Hey, look, another chest. Oh yeah, there's also another really recent hack called Super Mario RPG Here Comes the Koopa Bros, or something like that. And fun fact, it's made by the same guy who made the Axum Rangers hack, which I also want to play. And that's, like, one of the more recent, um, Mario RPG hacks. I kinda wanna play that. It's a freaking Mario RPG, it's a freaking 8-bit Mario music. I'm asleep! 
Unfortunately, nothing under my bed. It's not anything under the rando. What's in here? Oh, you just got a free flower, okay. You know, I might... You know what? Hold on. Okay. I just mapped the... I just mapped Turbo. I kind of need that, honestly. So I can get through the dialogue a bit quicker. So, uh, so far I already noticed in the, the chest change. That's, that's nice. I feel like there's gonna be a lot more of those. Ooh! Nice music. I love the little music changes. I'm such a sucker for that kind of shit. Well, and typically... Actually, the, typically the reason you want to do that is you want to open up new slots for new songs. That's something I did in my hacks. Like, I would make space for new songs by deleting old ones and just repurposing music for other instances. Like how the uh, title screen music is the map music now. Alright, time to go to Mario's Pad. <laughs> the fucking 8-bit Mario jump scare music. <laughs> You know, I still feel like I went a little too hard on Mario RPG Armageddon. I still feel bad about what I said all these years later. Because, like, the creator... The creator himself commented on my videos, like... It's like, what are some things... What are some things we can do to make, uh... Like, the game better? And I just said, like, oh, it's too hard. And I just really felt bad about that. <laughs> Like, that was just me having a skill issue and being frustrated. And the great thing is that there's actually a new version of Mario RPG, uh, Armageddon. So, there is a- there is always the chance that I can go back and play it again. <laughs> Do, like, a second playthrough with the new stuff and, you know, try and get a bit further. Because, um... Yeah, that that post game kind of destroyed me. But I'm down to give it a second chance, you know. I, I saved, right? I'm just gonna double, just do just gonna do a double save. Yeah. Here we go. Nice music. We got Gumbas. And they're very strong Gumbas. The beginning of a Mario PG run is always quite tough, honestly. Just because you have barely any resources. Oh yeah, I really need to be, like, spamming my jump a bunch, too, by the way. <laughs> because... You know, every every good Mario RPG player knows that if you spam the shit out of the jump, it gets, like, way stronger. <laughs> Anyways, unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to go back and heal already. <laughs> Bangs? Ow, jeez. Am I even gonna be kill this Gumba? Yeah, I already have to go back and heal. <laughs> you know, out of curiosity, how much experience do I need? Just two more. Nice menu, I like this. I do have like a bunch of mushrooms, but I need my FP back. So you learn a new technique at five. Oh yeah, that's right. This game actually has um this. It actually increases the level cap. The level cap goes up to 60 in this game, so it's doubled from what it is normally. Which is really cool. I love it when Mario RPG hacks do that. Uh, because I know, Ar I know Armageddon did that too. I think the cap was like 50, I think? Something like that? It was, I think it was 50 anyway. 
And I remember I actually grinded that game out to get all the levels that I wanted. Just because, you know, that game was really demanding when it came to, um... Levels and stuff. Alright, we got some... What the fuck? What the hell are you guys doing here this early? Oh my god, 10 damage. <laughs> I'm getting destroyed already. Why wow, you really need to get rid of blocks. Holy shit. <laughs> what, are you gonna take like... Well, you, you took a bit more damage than I thought. Okay. One thing that seems to be really consistent across all Mario RPG hacks, they love to use the SFC buttons. <laughs> I can always I can always respect that, honestly. Bro, I gotta go back and heal again. Uh oh yeah, you need wait. They changed the level ups. I'm gonna go for POW. Out of the way, Gumba. Oh, level ups heal you. They don't heal your FP, though. That's kind of a problem. Uh, it's already way easier <laughs> since I'm taking way less damage. Lucky. Bro, you can't just get two turns. They're also gonna do that to me, too. They're gonna give the enemies multiple turns. I'm gonna go back and heal, honestly. <laughs> I kinda want my FP back. Hopefully I don't have to do heal- go back and heal this much later in the game. It's just gonna start out that way. Because, you know, the game is... It's just how the game is. It's not a very generous early game. Essentially that Hammer Bro boss, if you don't block, you're fucked early game. Blocking doesn't matter nearly as much late game, because most enemies just spam spells. So, at that point, all that, all that really matters at, at that point is, um... If you have magic resistance or not. Like, if you are immune to magic spells or not. <laughs> That's pretty much all that matters. Wow, I'm doing a little bit more damage to the Gumbas. And now they only do one damage, thankfully, so they're not a threat anymore. All right, I think I can afford to use one jump. <laughs> One damage. So threatening. Guys, you have no idea how excited I am for Brothership. <laughs> so I think they changed how the level ups work. They, level ups don't have like a specific stat anymore. You can just pick whatever you want. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. A, wait, a Sun Rhapsody? What? Recovers 15 flower points. 15? Okay. Sun Rhapsody. It's just making me think of Toho now. Yo, I can still do the- I can still do the thing, the trick. Alright, kill you. 40 damage. Oh, that is way better. You know, I love making Mario just a complete powerhouse. Okay, flower tabs are unchanged, at least. Uh, so it doesn't really matter if I increase my flowers at this point. 
Although we could fight a few spikies, I suppose. Yeah. Here, let me get rid of the paratroopa. Not, he's not a sky troop anymore. He evolved into a paratroopa. Good on him for evolving, you know? I keep thinking about brothership like every day. I was thinking it in the I was thinking about it in like the shower today. And like, I don't know, I just think about it on a regular basis. <laughs> That's the great thing about hype leading up to a game, is you just have those thoughts like, oh I can't wait to see how this game's gonna be and shit like that, you know? Like that stuff is that sort of stuff is really exciting, honestly. So the game is balanced in a way where that you get level ups quicker, but I don't think you get as much stats, you know? Like, normally I'm not level 3 before Hammer Bros unless I actively grind. <laughs> so, I mean, that's something. Uh, I think we could probably fight one more. I mean, it depends how much experience these guys give. Like, I need 9 for the next level up. Okay, I might need to heal soon. Haha, you missed. <laughs> Sucks to be you. I'm going for it. Good. <laughs> yeah, those guys only give me two experience. Yeah, we're not getting a level up here, I know that. So I'll use the red shroom and the flower tab, I think. That's the way we have two jumps for the hammer bro boss. Okay, this looks pretty similar all this looks pretty samey already. Hammer time! Oh, they're start they're both starting out with hammer time. Alright, I see you, Hammer Bros. You know, I should probably use that Sun Rhapsody, honestly. Aw, oh, the classic using the hammer attack from later in the game. I love it when they do that. <laughs> I think I did that in my hack, too. Ooh, I got a freebie, let's go. Yeah, these are some pretty aggressive Hammer Bros. Okay. We'll jump on him. Oh, he's not dead. Damn, these, these hammer bros are no joke. Oh yeah, you can see my hammer getting stronger there. I can take another hit. As long as I block. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Alright, we use the red shroom. Aw, oh, no freebie. Sad. Lol. Alright, I'm gonna use the Sun Rhapsody again, because why not? I got I have it, I might as well. I got a freebie again, let's go! So yeah, they're pretty much scripted to use this every two turns, it seems like. Right, I really need to get one of you guys out of here. Fuck. He's not dead yet. Right, you, you need to go, buddy. Get out of here. How are you not dead? What? <laughs> How is he not dead? Bro, I'm screwed. I'm screwed here. He 
he didn't die when I thought he would. I get my keep my levels right. Yeah. Bro, why do those guys take so long to die? What the fuck? Might need to get a magic level up then. <laughs> Jeez. Or make my jump stronger. Either or is fine. I can't believe those hammer rows didn't die. That's actually insane. So I think it's safe to assume I should probably just get, like, one sub-area done per episode, you know? Like, get Bandit's Way and kill Mac and shit, you know, that kind of dealio. Alright, kill this Gumba. This is gonna take a- this is gonna take a hot minute. <laughs> Well, I guess I can tell you guys my progress on Toho 6 highlights. Because that's something I've been working on. Now, if you don't know, I've been working... I've been kind of doing, like, whatever highlights I feel like. Instead of, you know, forcing myself to do, like, trash highlights. Because I don't, I don't fucking care about trash highlights right now. I'm just, like, so not in the mood to do that. So I'm deciding to do, um, you know... Toho 6 highlights. Basically, I'm making a death compilation of every time I die in that game. And, um... Yeah, it's going pretty well so far. I'm, like, actually, I'm actually almost done, too. That's the great part. So, I, I have, like... 50 minutes of death? <laughs> 50 minutes of me dying? And I have to somehow condense it a bit more. I wanna like... Maybe lower it down to like 45 minutes, you know, cut out some of the... You no know, empty space. Cause you know, nobody wants empty space in a highlights... In a highlights reel. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna love upgrade my magic this time. But I want more jump power. Hello, chat member. Fortunately, getting a level up does not refill your MP. <laughs> Which really sucks. And these asshats get to attack twice sometimes whenever they feel like it. Because that's obviously fair. Hey, <laughs> I think he expects you to be level 4 for the boss then. <laughs> You're laughing at earlier. Yeah, because I was doing a rerun. Alright, got a flower tab. How much does it cost to, um... Next level 16. See, I don't know. Don't know if I'm gonna get that. Alright, let's try fighting him now, because we're a little stronger. We're a bit tankier. We can probably take him on. We have a... We have a... Sun Rhapsody if we really need it. You know, the old nine yards. <laughs> Alright. Attempt number two at the Hammer Bros. Because these guys love to be douchebags. <laughs> we'll see how much Hammer Time does now. Six. Yeah, that's way better. I can survive a lot longer. <laughs> Well, I like the base of the way you want to do this fight is you want to get rid of, you want to get each of the hammer bros down as much as you can. Ah, oh, no freebie this time. <laughs> Dang. Well, at least he missed. Yeah, I don't know how much health these guys have, but they they have a lot. I can know that. See, I won't have to worry about healing for a while, because now I have 60 health, which is way better than last time. I have not figured out the perfect timing for 
the hammer time. I have no how much health- I don't know how much health these guys have, but they have at least a hundred, because I didn't frickin' die from like three or four jumps. So, yeah. These guys like to- these guys like to cheat. That's right, we're gonna cheat. Yeah, I don't know the perfect block for hammer time. It's- it's just- oh, I got it. It's a, it's a strange attack, though, to be fair. Okay, now we can heal. We have three mushrooms. We have like 160 or something. I think it's after, like, the last hammer disappears. Alright, let's start attacking the other bro a little bit, too. Thank god for the uh, Sun Rhapsody, though. Twenty. <laughs> 20 per turn, guys. It's not very much. I mean, at least we're gonna be good on healing items for a while. Mmm, we can probably tank one more hit. I think I'll heal now. Now it's safe time to heal. <laughs> 20 is better than whatever you do in the OG. Yeah, because this 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 hack has some uh, some pretty neat balancing. Bro, how is he not dead yet? Bro's lived too long. There we go, I got the perfect block again. Well, guys, you don't want to kill one of the Hammer Bros too early, because then the other one's going to use Valor up, and he's going to get, like, a shit ton of defense. So you want to kind of spread the damage out equally. There we go, he's dead. <laughs> Valor boost. What do you mean, Valor boost? Vigor boost? Oh, I'm really glad I killed him last. He's doing nine damage now. Ooh, scary. Seven. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm really glad I spread the damage out now. He's doing, like, multi-attacks and shit. Okay, we got him. <laughs> yeah, when they use Valor up, they get like a crap- they get way too much defense, and it's not fun to deal with. So, there we go. That's- that's done with. That's kind of like the hard part of the game, because- well, I mean, I feel like the, the hardest part of the game is actually like the beginning. <laughs> it gets a lot easier once, like, you get to Karo Sewers, honestly. Well. There's, there's difficulty spikes throughout the game. Like, the Axum Range is a pretty big difficulty spike. Um, as a kid, I always thought Valentina and Dodo were a, kind of a difficulty spike. They're not really that much of a difficulty spike, though. They're kind of chill. Uh, it's good to see the name Frog Fuchsius again. Ugh, this, this, this uh, menu kind of hurts my eyes a bit. Ivy Shroom? Can poison or mute an enemy? That's a hundred coins. This is 35. Wow, the, uh, the economy in this game is all kinds of fucked. Spore Ring? Attack and Magic Attack 5. Knoll's Mushroom weak to fire. What the hell are these accessories? 
prevents all statuses. Attack the this this increases all your stats by five and nulls fire damage. No way am I getting 1500. Oh wow. Flower tabs give you a thousand. Honestly, it's kind of tempting to sell the flower tab. <laughs> specific, bu just bullshit at one. What do you mean bullshit at one specific point? I might honestly sell that flower tab. I'm not sure yet though. All right, let me reload this room. Got lucky. <laughs> that NPC is never fun to deal with. Oh yeah, we should probably save. Count up on the unavoidable frog coin. <laughs> yeah, my RPG sure uh, sure went up in costs when I was gone. All right, get ready. <laughs> we gotta get this missable frog coin. There we go. This is called Super Mario RPG Masters. You can find that on Game Banana, that's where I got it from. It's just kind of a random ROM hack I came across. And I said, like, yeah, this, this would be fun. I mean, if there's a wiki for it, I'd be kind of surprised. I love the funny police car noises Peach makes. I mean, my favorite thing about the remake, though, is, like, the post-game shit, though. Just because it's so cool. I mean, <laughs> if you guys are interested, you can always go look at my Mar PG remake playthrough, because that is that was a very special time. I, I still remember my reaction to the super bosses. Those are great. I was not spoiled on those. Well, except for one of them. But, but you probably already know which one. Ten bucks. Flower. Flower. Ten flowers later. Uh, we can also get a free mushroom in here. You take all you take all of the uh that you can early game. Especially since the economy is so fucked. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford um that fifteen hundred thing. Cause yeah. But the, and the fact that flower tabs are worth a thousand, it's kind of crazy. Well, and that's another thing I like about this hack, is... The coin count goes to, to quadruple digits, which is how it is in the remake. And honestly, that's how every remake should handle currency, you know? They should make the currency, like, go up to, like, I don't know, six digits for no fucking reason. Because, you know, there's no reason to limit how many... how much money you can have. It doesn't matter, and that's another thing I like about the TTYD remake as well. You know, you can carry 9,000 coins in that game, too. <laughs> Mallow starts with 20, so I guess we'll see how much he starts with in this. It's nice that it plays the uh, Nimbus Land theme here, that's cool. I'm honestly really happy that ever since the remake, people have really started to love Mallow. <laughs> he has 65 compared to 20. Wow, Mallow sure got a buff, that's for sure. And he's actually he has actually a higher level than me too. That's even more that's the even crazier thing in my opinion.
Oh, the Frog Fuchsius. I think Frog Fuchsius is just making me want to watch Bowser's Kingdom some more. Free one up? Yeah. Love the free respect to that free one up. Alright. Well, I'm gonna honestly, honestly, I'm gonna do it. Buy a flower tab. This this is a this this model's worked on for six years. That's honestly pretty crazy. Hmm. Can't afford the ruby gem. We might have to buy that later in the game. But I will get these. You know what? Let's let's get some spore rings. Those mushroom. I mean, the extra attack is good. And we'll get some sun rhapsodies, maybe an ivy shroom. Here we now, and then our... Yeah, well, that's pretty good, I think. You want as much stats as you can early game, and I think this is probably a good idea. So now my economy is looking a lot better. Alright, all good. I have, um... Ten flowers now, which is actually how much you have in vanilla. It's kind of funny how that works. Here's the Bazooka Toad, one of the greyest NPCs. Yeah, max level 60 now. I read a bit about- I read a bit on the page. It, it, 60 is crazy. I think- it, like I said, it's, I think it's even more than Armageddon. Even though Armageddon's level cap was pretty good. Actually, see, I'm really I'm still struggling to remember if, if Armageddon was 50 or if it was 100, because I don't remember. Max in the original is 30. They didn't increase it in the remake either. It's still 30. <laughs> in fact, the funny thing is that I never I never got to level 30 in the remake. I beat Qlex at like level like 25 or something. So I was like, fuck that, I ain't grinding. I'm just gonna beat him at level 25, and I did. So we learn a new skill at 5, and Mal learns a new skill at 6. So I think I think that new skill is just HP rain. It's weird that he doesn't start with it, though. Alright, let's get a feel for the combat in this area. Oh, the shock? Shock is three is three now. Damn, he did not die from that. None of these guys died. Yeah, I kind of expected the Frog Gog to have a lot of health. Nine. Nine damage. <laughs> oh, every so I'm not I'm not special then. Nobody grinds their way up to level thirty. <laughs> Alright, can't go wrong with more defense up. Ow. Okay, he's gone. He gone. I only got two experience. You don't get a lot of experience, do you? Well, to be fair, it is EXP split now. I mean, Mario is actually pretty close to a level up. Just need to do, like, two more battles. But then again, I've been playing this game for like, what, 15 years? So, you know, my Mario RPG knowledge is just kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know everything about this game, but I know a crap ton, that's for sure. Can we get rid of the K9 at least? Good. These guys actually aren't all that threatening, honestly. They're pretty chill. Pretty chill enemies. They look threatening, but they're not really threatening at all. <laughs> 24 if you get lucky. I mean, I did use I did use Peach against Qlex. I mean, if I didn't have Peach, that fight wouldn't have been winnable. Keep in mind, I went into the Qlex fight blind, and I think I beat it first try. 
When I say Culex, I mean the, the Super Boss version of Culex, not the, not the original. <laughs> Star Caro Cola. Is that just a rename of the Caro Caro Cola? Ooh. Boosts all stats. So wait, it's a Caro Caro Cola that also acts as a Geno Boost? That's fucking busted. Hello? You're a persistent bugger. <laughs> I'm out of MP. Or FP, rather. <laughs> Someone did it at 24 and knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah, because I had no idea that Culex had the Meteor spell. <laughs> But I eventually figured out how it worked. So I, I'm very familiar with, like, attack formulas and RPGs and stuff. Mario learns Fireball! Definitely got my magic up for that, that's for sure. <laughs> Just jump on that guy's head, why don't you? I still don't have any FP. Um, the thing is, I don't know if I should waste my Sun Rhapsodies or not. Probably not. I want to save those for the boss. Because Croco is usually a bitch. When I say usually, I mean he's almost always a bitch. Mallow usually doesn't get Psychopath until, like, by the time you get to Karo Sewers, I think. Or Roseway, at least from from my experience. I hope they make I hope they make Psychopath cost zero, like they do in some hacks. Blitz. The fuck is the blit? What the fuck is Blitz? <laughs> that's a new that's a new attack. Probably a rename of another move, like, um, I don't know. There's a lot of weird moves. There's there's a lot of moves that just have random ass names, and they all it is just like, oh, it's this it's this anime, it's the normal physical attack, but it does like 0. 0.5 times as much damage. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, let's do the food knee. Can I get the one can I get the one frame trick? I don't know. I don't think I got it. Alright, all right, come here. Come here. Hey, hey. Guys, come here. Hey. Come here. I need you to come over here. Got it. Alright. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Blitz sounds like a gun. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there is a mushroom in this block. Yeah, okay, good. Honestly, I think it'd probably be a good idea to go back and save, because, uh, yeah. If the Hammer Bros fight was that hard, who knows how hard this fight's gonna be. I don't think we're gonna get another level up before uh, we fight Croco either. So, yeah. Yeah, those coins can go screw themselves. I really hate um, how far back the save point is in Bandit's Way. I've never liked that. <laughs> er Alright, well, I guess you can use a Shock Storm then. Still not strong enough to one shot the Spikies, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, Croco has 320 health. Don't ask how I know that from memory. I don't know. I wonder if they're gonna get rid of uh, his fire weakness or not. I feel like they wouldn't, though. Because, you know, that's such a memorable thing from his boss fight. 
Um, although I wouldn't surprise me if they get rid of the whole he loses one turn thing. They might also remove, um... They might also remove him, like, losing a turn when he heals. Because that's another weird thing about that fight that I think they kept in the remake. Croco just straight up loses a turn whenever he uses the, the mushroom. I don't know why they designed it like that. He just does. It's a very weird part of his code. I'm so used to the rando where I just touch him and then he runs off. <laughs> Bitch. All right. Let's see how that. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Three twenty isn't arbi isn't arbitrary as fuck. <laughs> I mean, I've made I've made hacks for this game, so of course I know that stuff. Uh, well, <laughs> let's find out if Mallow still does two damage to Croco. No, he actually does something. He actually does damage. That's crazy. Hundred fourteen lottery. What <laughs> is that, Chomp? Yeah, it's just a reskinned version of Chomp. Okay. And he throws knives. Okay. That's a very Croco thing to do. <laughs> Croco is always a bitch. Yeah, time to make him my bitch. I'm just gonna spam fire on him then. Yeah. Youch. Okay, so he he counterattacks you. He counterattacks with some attacks if you shoot him a fire. That's an interesting way to make the fight more challenging. So he throw he uses chomp and then he throws a knife at you. <laughs> well, let's see. I've done like what three hundred already. Well, that's lottery with an exclamation mark. Star friend. Mm, gotta pay. Gotta be careful about Mallow's health too, because Mallow has a pretty big tendency to die. Yes, freebie. Let's go. Okay, so that's like 400. Oh, he's dead. He's fucking dead already. That was piss ass easy. Yes, piss ass easy. Oh, that was so much easier than the Hammer Bro fight. I got 20 bucks. You got a wallet. How much does the wallet give? He had probably like 500, which isn't that big, honestly. Hey, okay, definitely save. Always save after the Croco fight. Yeah, this has actually been a pretty short stream. I might be able to do a bit of Caro Sewers, depending on how well this fight against Mac goes. You know, uh, this fight might go terribly. Now, I gotta know, how much does the wallet sell for? Oh, you can't sell the wallet anymore. It's a key item, isn't it? No, you can't sell the wallet anymore. Well, I don't even specify, it's 500 coins inside. Dang, he knew. He knew I would try to sell the fucking wallet. Dang. Well, I mean, I'm pretty good on items, so I'm gonna buy another Sun Rhapsody, and that's about all I can afford. Great. Cool. I have, like, no Moon Me. Alright, how bad are the Shysters? Let's find out. Or, sorry, Shymores? <laughs> Yeah, how's that? How do you like that name? Shymore. I still think Shyster's better. Bro, attacks like twice? What? 
Okay, you do you, shyster. I gotta get Mario's jump up, so I'm gonna keep spamming it. Die! I usually don't sell the wallet because it doesn't sell for much. Like, it's only like 123 coins. Also, I think now I could probably open my window because it's kind of getting dark in here now. Well, open the blinds, I mean. Yeah. There we go. Hey, I got another Sunder Wrap today. Let's go. You give me 10 bucks still? 50 bucks? Oh, that's a little better. Yeah, because the economy in this game is all kinds of whack. At least the inn is still three coins. Unless I change that too. Nope. Still the same. There's a crap ton of items you can get in here. So, you know, I'm just gonna do all of the stuff that you can do in Mushroom Kingdom, even though it takes a while, because these shysters like to... They love to mess around. That guy's not necessary. These ones are, though. So, do they just counter with a fireball when you use thunder? Wouldn't surprise me. Get out of here. Oh, don't do the double attack, bro. Come on. There goes all my FP again. But hey, it's worth it. Oh yeah, Max name is probably like one of the stupidest changes, honestly. Like, what kind of fucking name is Clay Morton? I hate that name, bro. Like, Spiritovich? I'm fine with that. That's a f that name's fine. But Clay Morton is so stupid. <laughs> Alright, time, time to get my FP back again. It's like they changed- they, they kept all the names most of the same, like... Bowyer, that's fine. Spiritovich, I can live with that. Axe and Rangers, iconic, you don't need to change that. But Clay Morton is so dumb. It, it's, it doesn't roll as well. Like, it's too long. Mac is nice and simple, you know? Like, if you just called him Clay, that would be fine. Like, Clay is, a, is an okay name. <laughs> if you want to reference a Clay more, just call him Clay. <laughs> it's a better name than Clay Morton. <laughs> Well, guess what, guys? We gotta go to the inn again. Ooh, I got a Sun Rhapsody. This game actually- this game actually incentivizing me to use the inn. That's a new one. I mean, three coins for the inn is easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm still gonna call him Yuridovich anyway. <laughs> like, I'm never gonna change my mind on that. <laughs> Alright, here's some more shysters. Well, the weird thing is that, um, the other shy guy. The other shy guys, like I think they're they're still called the same. Like, can I can I fact check that? 
Also, let me, um, let me just disable background input. I kind of don't want that. Yeah. Actually, disable back keyboard hotkeys. There we go. Let me go to the, let me go to the Mario Wiki real quick. I need to make sure they didn't fuck up any of the other names. They kept Springer the same. <laughs> That's good. And then, uh, Shiper. So they kept Springer and Shiper the same, but they changed Shymore for some reason. Or Shyster, rather. I don't know why. It says, their original name is upon Shy Guy and possibly Shyster, a slang term meaning con man. See? It still has a... Still has a name. Well, and the bodyguards are also still called the same, too. <laughs> they only changed Shyster to Sh Shymore. I don't- I don't know, it's weird. Boing. Yeah, fuck it. Use the shock storm. Yeah, Bowyer and Axe Rangers are completely fine, though. <laughs> hey, Mallow's level 6, and he learned Healing Rain. Um, yeah, always just buff up Mallow's magic. Doesn't matter what you're doing. <laughs> you never want to upgrade his attack. Oh, a one up. He normally gives you a flower tab, but I guess a one-up's not a bad reward either. Okay, well now I have items for days, at least. Alright, back to the inn, guys. <laughs> you know what that means. Because the inn is just so much cheaper than buying extra sun... You know, I'm just gonna probably just say honey syrups. Even though they're called, like, fucking sun rhapsodies. It's a weird-ass name, but I, I kind of love it, honestly. I love how weird it is. Let's kill this bastard. <laughs> Bowyer is also a neat idea. I've always liked the Bowyer fight. <laughs> In fact, I had to exp I actually explained to my friends how the Bowyer fight works in the code. I forget where I, I forget who I learned it from, but I just know that I learned how it works. And it's based on, um, it's based on memory, memory addresses. And if the memory reaches a certain threshold, it changes what he does that turn. Alright guys, you know what we're doing? We're going back to the, <laughs> we're going back to the inn. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I was, I was pretty impressed the day that I learned how the code for his fight works. Like, he uses ma- like, basically, I'll explain it again for anybody who wants to know. The way Bowyer's fight works is, um, if you use at magic attacks, he increases his memory by 8. And if the memory goes over, like, 24 or something, he locks the Y button. Also, I did not mean to fight this guy. No, I, oh, I can't run. That's the problem. Actually, how much is healing rain? That's also three. Everything costs three. It's an odd number. Well, Seymour, you're an odd number. But I must say, you seem a good rain. Lol. One damage. What is that gonna do to me, bro? Alright, bro, you don't gotta attack me like four times per turn, dude. And here, no, okay, so continue on with the Boer topic. If you use physical attacks, it increases the memory by like two, and I think if the memory is more than 12, uh, he'll lock the physical attack button. 
And if you use items or defend, it doesn't increase the memory at all. And if the memory is less than eight, he locks the item button. So that's how the Bowyer fight works, and that's how it's coded. And the, obviously the numbers I listed are not actual, they're not the actual numbers, I'm just giving an example. But that's essentially how that fight works. I'm sure you can look at the code and actually see how much it co how, much, how much numbers you need for the memory address. And that's how some of the enemies work in this game. Like, random things will increase the memory by a certain amount. So, like, you could you could basically code a boss where if you hit him, like, five times, he'll, um, he'll do a specific attack or something, for example. And that's the cool thing about hacks. If you try to hack this game, is you could do shit like that. You could have, um, you know... You could have, you know, a certain boss where if you hit him, he'll respond with increasing his memory by, like, a certain number. Which I think is cool. Oh yeah, I can't wait for the breaker beam in this version of the game. That's gonna be really fun. I remember how much that breaker beam scared the shit out of me in Armageddon. <laughs> Maybe I should make a highlight of that. You know what? I'm gonna write that down, because that sounds like a funny idea. I probably have a video of that somewhere. Um, Mario RPG Armageddon breaker beam. That could be a good idea for a highlight. Just make, like, me reacting to all the new moves in Armageddon. Uh, I'll increase Mario's POW this time. Yeah, that, that other Shaster can go screw himself. Boing, bitch. Alright, sadly I have no FP left, so... I think it's fine if I use a Sun Rhapsody, honestly. I mean, I, don't, I haven't been looking at how much money I've been getting from these fights. But it's been a decent amount. I can tell you that. I do find it really funny how the um, bodyguards are literally... They literally have the exact same stats as the shysters. Except for, like, a few differences. Like, I think the fact they give, like, less money in coins. Or, so, or like, not... not Less experience in coins, that's what I meant to say. Yes, less money in coins. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye. Two experience, 15 coins per fight. So I could definitely afford a uh, Sun Rhapsody. Make sure to say, make sure to say yes. <laughs> you do not want to pick the bottom option. Never do that. All right, what you get here. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad I won't be getting frog coins from rare enemies in this game. Oh, I got another one up. Yeah, they kind of lowered the amount of flower tabs you get in this game, I noticed. That's a that's a thing already. Oh, and she heals you by the way, so you don't have to go to the inn. She's a free version of the inn. <laughs> Why go to the inn when you can just Oh, what the fuck? Hello? Huh? What? Maxter? <laughs> that's an amazing name. Hello, Maxter. These guys are gonna be these guys are gonna be tough, I can already imagine. Uh-oh, they don't die. They don't die in one hit. Oh that fucking attack? I remember that shit. They use that crap a lot in uh Armageddon. The frickin' Poco Slam. Okay, well, um Shock Storm again. How is he not dead? Oh no. These guys are hella tanky. 
Okay. Oh my god, Mallow. Hang in there, Mallow. I'm definitely gonna buy some more Sun Rhapsodies after this. Aw, oh, no freebie. Sad. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> See, I love that he just randomly added a new enemy for no reason, other than the fact that, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw in a new enemy here. <laughs> oh, 200 sounds about right. Fire! <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Alright. Die, Maxter. You don't belong in this world. Ow. Forgot the block. I wasn't expecting him to attack me. Okay. Three experience for that. The economy is so fucked. You know what? They you probably are gonna have to fight the Maxters in the Mac fight. Why wouldn't you? That's actually that's probably what the bodyguards got reskinned as. They probably got reskinned as body as uh, Maxters. Okay, well we gotta buy a few Sun Rhapsodies. Too bad they cost a bunch. And poison or mute enemy? I might have to use that on Mac then. Alright, well, here's hoping this fight goes well. I'm basically ready for it. At least I hope I'm ready. <laughs> could be worse, it could be my ROM hack. My ROM hack had a pretty hard on the eyes menu as well. Alright. Oh boy. Alright, I'm just going for it. Oh shit, there they are. I, I had a feeling they were gonna be... Maxters. Mac is purple now! Purple Mac. Always love the uh, usage of the weapons factory music. All right, banger, banger music time. All right, does this still stun him? Max stun. Let's go. All right, you know what? Fuck it. Use the ivy shroom. Sixty-five. Not bad, actually. Oh no. One. <laughs> oh, he also does that. Ow! Why'd he do that much? Uh oh. He's using his that uh, he's using that shit against me. Thirty one! Fuck. Hmm. Yeah, let's use the red shroom, just to be safe. Might have to heal Mallow, too. <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely need to heal him. Oh my god. <laughs> bro, cut it out! Am I dead? Am I dead, bro? I'm dead! Oh my god! He killed Mallow. Oh hell yeah, freebie, let's go. These these shit these maxers are hella aggressive. I don't need more attacks on Mallow, come on. Okay, at least I got the perfect block.
Good, we stun them again. Alright, we might need to heal Mario again. <laughs> well, Mac has 480 in the original, so it probably got bumped up to at least 600. Ooh, good. Nice. I'm getting good at that. Fuck. Oh, I'm out of it. I'm out of MP again. Crap. Okay, maybe we can get rid of one of them, though. Good. Good. Oh, mistimed it. Nice. Might need to heal Mallow again. <laughs> okay, okay. They're gone. That's good. Ooh, a freebie. I like those. He just spawns more of them? God damn it. Yes, please do it on Mallow, not Mario. <laughs> Mario can't take it. Bob. More, more of those are always good. Might have to use, um... Might have to use that Carol Carol Cola already. Yeah, I think it's a good time. Alright, so now we're buffed, too. So let's see what we do to Mac. Zero! He has jump immunity? Bullshit. I can't believe he has... Jump immunity, what the hell? Why do they think that was a good idea? Ow. Mistimed that poorly. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll attack him with my, uh... I'll attack him with my hammer, then. 36, that is like nothing. Mario is a liability in this fight. Rock. I wasn't expect. I was not ready for that rock. All right, we got. You know, probably use a healing rain. All right. Um. Let's try and get rid of. We should do that. We should do the thing where we keep like a couple of them alive. You know, unless he can summon like more randomly. That was too early. That was also too early. Okay, well, uh, out of FP again, sadly. And Mario needs to heal. This is just a healing turn. <laughs> I got a freebie, though. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Too early. Ah, right, you're all going after Mallow, aren't you? Guess we're gonna have to heal Mallow again. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, we stunned Mac again at least. Freebie. 
Always, always I like to see. I always like to see those freebies. Okay, you stop going after Mario now, bro. Bro. Okay, I got it. Yikes. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> uh oh. Hang in there, Mallow. We need you alive. Fuck. I might be dead. Mario's dead. I gotta have another one up. Actually, don't I have a? Th I, have, I have actually. I have actually have a bunch of one ups. We'll be fine. Okay, while I'm here, I might as well just gear, get my FP back up. So I have a free turn. Just start on killing these shysters again, or maxters. Okay, I stunned them again, that's good. I didn't want to take 14 damage. There we go. This fight is this fight's tough, man. At least that's not as bad on Mario, though. Um let's heal up Mallow. Max got a lot, I can tell. I just need to, like, eliminate the amount of shut Maxers, man. Boy, is this fight's gonna drag on too long. Fuck. Messed up the timing. Problem is, I need another Sun Rhapsody, too. I might let Mario die, because it's probably better to heal him with a want with a revive instead. Mallow is almost dead. Okay, stun Mac again. Yeah, because I'm down to my last red shroom, which is not good. So I need to keep Mallow's health up while he takes care of the shysters. Maxters, whatever. Stop. Stop bullying Mallow. Okay. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Okay, I'm fine with that. I knew Mario was gonna die anyways. Yikes. It's pretty bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna... Focus on Mac now. Okay, we're gonna revive Mallow anyway, it's okay. And then we're gonna Sun Rhapsody again, I think? Actually, no, I don't think we will. Actually, yeah, we should. We should. We're not gonna be using Thunderbolt anymore because I don't wanna kill that Maxter. Jesus. Mario's gonna focus on your offense now.
I think we're dead. Flame? Are you using flame now? I don't. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> Mac has, still has fire attacks. <laughs> I don't imagine fireball's gonna do jack shit to him, so just attack normally. I'd rather just deal with one Maxter than, like, multiple. This is way more manageable, honestly. Good. Perfect damage. So I don't- these are my only items left. Lightning orb. You also have lightning orb? Okay. Well, at least we'll get to see enemy HP later in the game. Um, I should probably healing rain just to be safe. You never know if he's gonna static E. Well, and we have what? Uh, we have enough for one more, and then we have a uh, Rhapsody in case we run out of FP. No, attack Mallow. We're doing like a solid 50 a turn to him probably, so... He's gotta die sometime. Nice, nice zero damage. Mmm, yeah, probably healing rain, honestly. I wanna be safe about this. Alright, it's my last FP item. Okay, good, he went, he went after Mallow. That's ideal. We're doing 50 now. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, and you're still here? You know, let me use you as jump fodder real quick. There. We're done. We get, uh, 60 experience, 58 coins, and power up. What the hell is power up? I don't know, but that fight took a lot longer than I was expecting. But... Okay, maybe I won't do Karo Sewers. I don't know, we'll see. I might. It's pretty tempting. I don't- it's not like I got anything better to do tonight, right? Yes, I got the star! <laughs> yeah, I don't think they can make Balome very long, unless he has some crazy gimmick that gives him, like, a million defense or something. This is not good. This is not good. This mustached one's strong. Strong, yes. We have to get the fuck out of here, man. Yes, let's go. Yeah, that, I, I'm I mean, I'm glad when they make that fight really tough, because it's at least very exciting. I feel like the difficulty kind of peaks, though, early game, because it gets a little too easy late game. Well, Armageddon was at least balanced to a degree. Like, the Axe Ranger fight was pretty hard. Um, I feel like Smile Axe was also challenging. I feel like every fight I had to at least, like, prepare for and have a strategy going in, like, once I learned what the gimmick was. <laughs> Funny Russian Maxters.
All right. Well, next up, let's get let's talk to you. We get a rare frog coin. <laughs> or sorry, cricket pie. We got we we gave him the rare frog coin for the cricket pie. All right, so now we have 161 bucks. I mean, that's something. I, I do got to stock up on Sun Rhapsodies again. But unfortunately, I don't have much else. What is Power Up? Boosts Attack and Magic Attack of now. Okay, so it's just a Bracer. Okay. Yeah, uh, there goes all my money. I don't even have any Mushrooms left. Then again, you don't really need Mushrooms when you have, um... Honey Syrups. So, yeah. Uh, we could, try, we could try Carol Sears. Get to Tadpole Pond, I think. No! <laughs> I always love that Easter egg. That, Easter, that is always a really funny Easter egg that nobody ever knows about. <laughs> I like to show that off in like every playthrough. Playing the underground music. Okay. Oh, jeez, I just realized we're gonna have to fight Panda, right? Oh, God. Ooh. Boo. Okay, how's this gonna go? Well, they're not immune, at least. Are you immune to jump? Motherfucker. Yeah! I'm the boo! Oh my god, they do a lot. No amount of uh, magic and preparing can save me from this fight. Sorry, time for a Sun Rhapsody, I think. Oh yeah, right, you have Echo Finder? Wait, you know, you don't, you don't have Echo Finder normally. Shut the fuck up. He has Endo Bubble normally, not Echo Finder. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna, we gotta spam Shock Storm. That's the only way we're gonna make it through this place, if we sh shock the crap out of him. Bye, boo. Are you also mean to jump, Shadow? Fuck. All that jump training went to waste. Why do you have Fireball? <laughs> Why? Why does he have that? Oh, oh, there's Echo Finder again, okay. Then again, Shadows are pretty weird in the original anyway. Because they have like four attacks. It takes them four turns to cycle through all their attacks. Which you don't see normally. Okay, well, uh, guess what we're doing? We're going back to the inn. Because <laughs> that fight sucked. At least now I know they're immune to jump. That's good to know. Uh, I need a good spot to... I need a good place to get money, honestly. That's my biggest problem right now, is money. But there's not really any good place to get money. Oh, you know what? I forgot to talk to this guy. <laughs> Got a flower tab. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. In emote. What's the closest thing I have to an in emote? I don't really have any. I'll just put this, I'll just post this in chat then instead. <laughs> And the funny centipede emote. Alright, let's save again. <laughs> so, uh, I could tell a funny story <laughs> about today. Well, I wouldn't really call it funny. It's just a story. But, um... Rece you guys remember how recently I've been helping out Jose try to install Smash Ultimate mods? And how well that's been going on? Also, do I even dare fight Pandarite? Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll give it a shot. 
Oh, he just falls out of the sky. <laughs> okay. This might be a bad idea. So I've been helping Jose out with Smash Ultimate mods. And he says he needs... Uh, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is... Yeah, this is a bad idea. <laughs> this is not going well at all. You know what? Nah. We're not gonna do this. You didn't know Pandorite existed? Well, now you do. And he's a pain in the ass. I, I you know what? I'm gonna just say I'm not gonna fight Pandorite right now. Because, yeah, that's a load of bullshit. I need to get my- I need to get my levels up, you know? I mean, there is one way you can do that pretty easily, and it's by doing this. Uh, not that. Hold on. <laughs> First, we gotta let these guys attack. We gotta run. Actually, wait, no, what am I doing? I- I wanna come in this room because there's a chest over here. That has a flower in it you can get for free. So here's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might grind a bit of levels. <laughs> Love the, uh, the funny remix. That did not last very long at all. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get myself killed on purpose so we can get a few extra uses out of that star. Unless they fixed that. I don't know if they did. But yeah. <laughs> Here, we'll try Pandorite again. This time I know he's gonna hammer. He's gonna throw the hammer at me. Or he could miss. Hammer time! And he also missed again. Anyways, Jose said he needed the, uh, the Rama Thess for, um, Smash Ultimate. Or not, yeah, for Smash Ultimate. And he basically said he needed my help to, like, what am I trying to say? Um, you know what? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. He needed the MSBT because he wanted to edit song titles because he's been making, like, music edits, which is pretty easy and common to do. Oh, bye, Mallow. <laughs> and the thing is, somehow, when he dumped the Rama FS, somehow it caused his mods to break. <laughs> and he came to me saying, like, hey, uh, I need you to help me fix. And I was like, bro, I am just not in the mood for fucking modding Smash Ultimate right now. Like, seriously. I got- I got- I got so fed up after just modding ultimate for a year straight. Okay, well Mario's dead now. We're gonna revive him again. <laughs> this better be worth it, whatever this is. If it's not worth it, I'm going to be very disappointed. Also, I noticed you have no way of recovering statuses. That's another weird thing I'm noticing already. Ooh, I appreciate the freebie game, thanks. I ended up napping for like an hour and like 10 minutes today. <laughs> Specifically that long. I counted. Oh, bye Mallow. Mallow is down for the count now. Oh, he missed. This is my chance. No. I'm dead. Well. Gives us another chance to use that, uh, that star, I guess, huh? Anyways, 
Anyways, here's what I was trying to do. I'm gonna let this boo come to me. We're gonna jump on top of him. Wait for the boos to attack. We're gonna run away. Then you can jump up here, and you can just get to the star immediately. <laughs> There we go, we got an extra level up. Extra level up for Mallow. Give him some extra magic attack. Alright, I'm gonna attempt Pandrite again. Hopefully it goes better this time. Pandrite has 300 health in the original. I remember that. And he's immune to everything except for jump. <laughs> so fire attacks don't work on him. Anyways, let's use the power up on Mario. That might help, honestly. 98, yeah. That's way better. Tri Crystal. Oh, that's just a re Oh my god, why? Bro. <laughs> That's a rename of Crystal. There goes my, uh, like, attack buff already. So much for that. Yeah, sadly I have no heals, so... I'm just gonna defend with Mallow, I think. Hammer time! Good. Ah, oh, crap. Should I use the Sun Rhapsody with Mallow? Getting feared is like one of the worst things in this fight, though. Yeah, he's weak to jump. <laughs> Fear halves your your. It halves um, all of your stats, which is really bad. It's one of the worst statuses in this game. Next to Mushroomization. <laughs> so, it's just overall a status you never want to see, ever. <laughs> Alright, well Mario's dead. <laughs> And the thing is, you can't really fear most bosses. You can use fear on on regular enemies, though. And we're back to being feared again. Great. Looking fantastic, so... Say goodbye to all the damage output we could have had. All damage output just out the window. I think Mallow's dead. <laughs> Bye, Mallow. Okay, oh, we're dead. Mario's dead. He's gonna do like 100 damage. 73. Okay, good to know he has Tri-Crystal. That's, uh, that's a very fun move to have. Let's try and get a level up on Mario as well, then. We really need to increase Mario's magic. Oops, not what I meant to do. Why is that boost so high up now? I'm doing the skip because it's food neat. Alright. I'm gonna keep grinding this out until I can beat Pandorite. Because Pandorite's harder than Balom in some cases. And I assume whatever he gives must be pretty damn good. Alright, so Mario's level 7 now. We're gonna give him magic, because we want Jump to do more damage, and we also want resist magic attacks more. Oh yeah, right, I have that flower tab, actually. 
you know, it's tempting to use that flower tab so I can get more, um... If I, if I get that, I don't have to heal my FP as much. You know what? Let's use it. I usually like to save my flower tabs when I run out of FP, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's start out with power up. Hopefully Mario doesn't get dicked over by Tri-Crystal again. That's like one of the worst ways you can start out this boss. Ooh, look at that, 105. Uh, unfortunately, he feared me, though. So, bye-bye, all that pal. <laughs> some bosses aren't immune, and definitely de there's definitely some bosses that aren't immune in the randomizer. <laughs> but to be fair, that's the randomizer. Ooh, yikes, that's... That's a lot of- that's a lot of damage! I kinda would've preferred if he just killed Mario there, honestly. So Mario can get his attack power back. Oh wait, I'm, I'm, de I'm dead. <laughs> that was a bad attempt. I got very unlucky there. Better than coming back to fight this douchebag later, though. Booster's an optional boss, though, so he's kind of a weird case. How much experience do I need now? 28, 22. Like, usually a star can give at least, like, one level. Well, that didn't give a level. It's close, though. Do the, do the enemies get more experience later in the game or something, then? Is that, is that, the, is that the case? To be fair, what would be a problem. I just had more money to work with, but... The game is, uh, unfair. Okay, good. He didn't, he didn't, um, he didn't fear me turn one like he usually does. Good, this is some good panda right RNG so far, I'd say. Mm, I'm just gonna guard, honestly. Much better than last time. And we're feared. Great. Fantastic. Also, I think we're dead. <laughs> we're dead because, um... We're both feared. Unless I can block this. Nope. Fuck me, dude. I'm gonna beat this damn boss. <laughs> you know I have to grind a couple levels to get to get to do him. Do him in, you know? <laughs> Be nice if I actually had some items, you know, to work with. <laughs> That'd be a nice game. I feel like at least one level up here. Okay, we got we got a level up for each of them, that's good. Alright, give Mario um Yeah, we'll give him a physical level up. Why not? And you know, we'll give Mal, Mal a little physical level up too. He kind of needs the defense, honestly. It'll help him survive a bit longer. Okay, let's do this correctly this time. Let's actually, um... 
Let's actually put the flower tab on after I grab that flower. That way we actually have 12 FP. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So let's see how much power up does now. You get one good free turn with jump before you're guaranteed to get feared, pretty much. 108. So, like a six attack increase. Wow, lots of damage there. Hundred eight bolt, and that does quite a lot of damage. Under ten, <laughs> yes, he missed. Good. Uh oh, now we're dead. No, he lived. He lived because he guarded. Let's go. Why are half- oh yeah, yeah, ha everybody being immune to fear makes a lot of sense. And we're feared. Bye, bye, uh, bye good attack streak. I'm gonna guard with Mallow, just so he doesn't die. Okay, kill Mar- I need you to kill Mario. Please? Oh, not Mallow. Mallow needs to live, bro. Mario can't do shit when he's feared. Okay, I appreciate the freebie, though. You really want Mario to live with that dinky amount of HP? Seriously? Bro, he's, he's just going after Mallow now. He's targeting Mallow. What the fuck? This is bullshit. <laughs> I'll have Mari use the Sun Rhapsody then. Please? Okay, thank you. That's what I needed. <laughs> he lives with one! <laughs> Alright, I mean, I'm fine with that. Get out of here. Under 13. Miss? Holy shit, how is Mario living this? Mario's genuinely living. How has he not died yet? I mean, that's because Mallow keeps getting fucking targeted. <laughs> I guess he really wants Mario to live or something. Which I'm fine with. Got him. We did it, we did it, we got, like, super lucky. That's gotta give some good experience in, in coins, right? Flower vase. Ooh. And we got the anti-form pin. It prevents transformations. So, yeah, we'll definitely equip that. It gives defense, too, which is nice. Now I need to go back and heal. Hey, I have the flower vase, though. That's pretty nice. So we can extra magic attack in. Alright, now would be a great time to go back and heal. Actually, wait, I have an idea. Hold on. So the great thing is that if you reload this room, this turns into coins. You get, like, a free... You get an extra 50 coins from that, so... You get a bit of extra spending money. That's always nice. They made Panderite a full-on boss. <laughs> He's a genuine threat now. Which I guess is what he should be. Um, I wonder if- I should probably keep these, honestly. Actually, out of curiosity, how much does this sell for? 2,500. You know, if I wanted to, I could get the ruby gem. 
Nulls fire damage. Prevents all statuses. If I really wanted to. But I'll just get a few Sun Rhapsodies and call it a day, maybe. Can't afford anything else, though. At least until we get more Moony. Yeah, go in that pipe. Actually, I should probably save after that. I haven't had a drink in a while, let me do that, too. Honestly, I doubt we're gonna get to level 9. Also, why is Mario not healed? <laughs> I forgot to heal Mario, bro. Let me fix that real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if the um, point shop's gonna have anything good in this. Because usually they have pretty good shit. So I think we'll do Karo Sewers and call it a night, what I'm thinking. Even though this is a, this is a fun ROM hack. Not a good time so far. Anyways, I haven't figured out if I want to do anything tomorrow morning. If we're gonna play, like, Soku or something. I haven't quite figured that out. Alright, let's fight let's fight one of the rat punks. What do they do? They're they're pretty tanky, damn. That's a surprise. At least these bastards are immune to jump. <laughs> no, my jump. What am I gonna do? Mmm, I probably should heal Mallow, but I'm not going to. Dang. <laughs> oh, bye, bitch. Okay, now I can heal. <laughs> one health! I have one health left. Guess it's already time to use that flower base when I'm done, huh? Still is 15. It's a lot of damage. Alright, you can die, bro. You can die now. There we go. Two experience and nine coins. What a great deal. Alright, now we got 15 FP, which is way better. spam one more move. <laughs> and that's about it. These rats are back. Oh boy, this is a tough loadout. We got hobgoblins. Are we just gonna poison Mallow again, are we? Let me try and get rid of one of these guys. Okay, he's dead. Viroplasm? Isn't that just another poison move? Oh, ow, it also does damage. That's great. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> Boom. Mallow is almost dead. Man, why you guys always gotta run away? I just want your experience and your moon knee. But you won't give that to me. Hey, we got holy water. Oh. Am I dead? You know, couldn't run. I thought the run rate was guaranteed. I'm out of here. Oh, fuck. I need to go back and heal, bro. 
No, okay, you don't want me to heal? Fine, be that way. I get my experience though, right? I think so. This is why I'm glad that SNES RPGs let you keep your experience when you die. Because the game would be so much harder if it if it didn't do that. We got a lot of rats in here. I hate that they move so fast. Also, I just noticed, why does Mallow move first now? Mallow doesn't have more speed than Mario normally. But he does now. Die, rat. I guess you could say he's a rat bastard. <laughs> Shroom juice? What the hell is shroom juice? Heal statuses. Oh, finally! I've been waiting to get something like this. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Look at that. Alright, let's fight some more rats. Featuring goblins. I watched another episode of Sailor Moon today, and, uh, that was, in that episode, uh, Rei finally learned a new spell. <laughs> she learned, like, Fire Soul Bird or something, I think it's called. That was a pretty great episode, because it was just her, like, singing on stage and her getting interrupted <laughs> by the enemies. Come on, rat, you gotta die. Die, rat. Die. No, don't run. Don't be a pussy. I really need to watch more Sailor Moon, though. I keep, like, slacking on it and just, like, sleeping <laughs> and napping all day. It's not very productive. So can I get another level up before, uh, below? I don't know, like, 15 isn't much. Actually, when do I learn my next spell? 12 and 13. Oh, fuck no, we're not learning a new spell anytime soon. Yep. Hmm. I feel like the rats would be better to kill, honestly. Thing is, I can only kill one of them, so we gotta pick and choose. Ow, what the fuck? Bro. Why do the enemies in here hurt so badly? Okay, I might just have to game over again. I might just have to skip all the enemies in here, honestly. You know, yeah, oh yeah, I'm dead. Okay, I might just have to skip the enemies in here because I can't do anything. <laughs> Like, I can kill a few enemies, and then I just run out of FP, and then it's all Jover. Oh, why is this early game gotta be so annoying? Hello, Boo! Yeah, I'll just skip the enemies then. We already fought a lot of them anyway. I can't skip these guys unless I'm really good. Oh, hello, Boo. Another- another Boo! Honestly, I don't really find the Boos that problematic. They're probably, like, some of the most chill enemies in here. They're pretty basic. I mean, they're basic when they don't evade your attacks, at least. <laughs> Which they can do. 
They love to do that in the original, just dodge your attacks for no reason, because they have a stupidly high evasion rate. And also, for some reason, Boo's no lightning magic. Nobody knows why, to this day. <laughs> and I still find that honestly hilarious, that they decided to make Boo's use lightning magic in this game. <laughs> There's something really funny about that. Oh, now he's using Endo Bubble. Interesting. See, that is a move that he can use in the original, but he just barely does it. Oh, he's actually he's actually kind of hitting hard now. Okay, he's gone. We got more holy water. You know, Loki, that item might be good in this game, or I could sell it. I'm tempted to sell it, honestly. Come here. What are you guys doing? Get over here. Oh no, this is gonna take a sec. These boos are gonna take a little bit to die. Ooh. Alright, now I'm running. Get this flower. You know, more flowers are always nice. Part of me is kind of curious what would happen if I fought that guy. But I don't think today is a good day to find out. Alright, so we have, um... We're pretty close. Oh man, Mal has 30 speed and Mario has 25 speed. Interesting changes. Well, we could try. We could try fighting. We could try fighting below. Him. We'll see how this goes. This might go badly. We'll see though. Sixteen attack. <laughs> Oh, that didn't really do much at all. That's gonna even do in that's gonna do even less to Mallow. Ow! Okay, now that actually did something. Oh, I didn't get that shroom juice on this playthrough. I mean, you can keep attacking Mallow. Won't do you any good, though. Yeah, somehow this is way easier than Pandorite from earlier. He's shooting fireballs. Bro, I can't wait till I get Psychopath so I can see how much health all the bosses have. That's gonna be so nice. Honestly, it kinda makes me wish Mario had that ability from the start of the game. That'd be a cool idea for a hack. Just give Mario, like, um... Psychopath at the start. I was like, I gotta be careful, because Mario could die here. <laughs> And this is why I'm glad I killed Pandorite, because he has Scrow Funk. It still damages me, though. <laughs> I need Mallow back right now. I need him back. Bro. I need Mallow. Oh, and... Wait, wait, Mallow's back. What? Bro, what? <laughs> Mallow came back, but it was like, nope. Game over, bitch. Honestly, I might go. I might go back and get some items then. Plus, I can sell the holy water for some extra money, and that's always nice. It was always sold for a lot in the original. I wonder if they kept that the same. 
45? I'm not sure. Alternatively, I could sell the flower vase and not have to worry about money for a while. Which would be nice. I'll just buy a couple, uh, red shrooms, you know. Should I sell the, should I sell the spore rings now? Mmm. Might keep them, honestly. Because five extra attack is always nice. Well, I could give it to I could give this I could give the sporing to Mallow. And sell the other Antiform pin. Uh, it only sells for 60, it's not very much. It's something. Alright, let's try this again. Apparently I haven't used the, uh, flower vase yet. When did I get a second flower vase? I don't remember having a second one, but I have 16 FP now, I guess. I will complain. Always nice to have more FP. Where the fuck did you come from, bruh? Rat. Do a bit of extra damage, you know. Although I do hate Dark Call, that is a really nasty move. You never want to see that. <laughs> 18. Okay, I know this I'll get rid of the goblins first, because they're they they do a crap ton of damage. <laughs> As if it wasn't clear already. Yeah, you do not get a lot of money early on. I think that'll still that, that's probably gonna be a problem. That might be a problem throughout like the whole game, I don't know. <laughs> Very possible. Good rat. Nope, not good rat RNG. I'd like to run, please. That place is always kind of hard to get through in the rando anyway, though. You know, I haven't even bothered fighting the gobies yet. I don't know if they're any... I don't know if they're worth fighting. Also, we don't get a full heal now. No... Um, probably heal up Mallow. Alright, attempt number two, we have a few extra mushrooms to work with. So in other words, Mario won't be dying as much. Yeah, let's see how much Shock Storm does. That's not bad. Yeah, that is not- magic is kind of the way to go in this game, really. I kind of need to heal Mario already. I do have one-ups, just in case. Freebie. Yes, thank you. I need that. Okay, now heal Mario. Those mushrooms are just for when Mallow gets eaten. I can't use them. So they made they made below me able to use lightning orb. I mean to be fair, that's not really weird because he uses a lot of other crazy magic later in the game. Like um what's it called? Like Aurora Flash and stuff like that. So that's not that weird, honestly. <laughs> Three damage. 
point. So is it turn based on whether or not you specs out Mallow, or is it hit like damage based? I don't know, honestly. Regardless, I need to heal my FP, so yeah, that's kind of a problem. Okay, now we can heal. <laughs> Very good. Or maybe you just have to hit him a few times. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh. Mario is almost dead. <laughs> Might just be better to let him die, honestly. Because that fear status is annoying as hell. Or you can attack Mallow. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna, I want to revive him. That lot better than letting him live with that status. Okay, one of his more chill spells. Oh, he's, he's going back in the hunger phase again. Okay, at least I have FP this time, though. Alright, we're doing Fireball! Nice. Yeah, he just, he just attacks way more often. <laughs> Alright, we're down to our last bit of FP items. Or our last bit of FP, just in general. Oh my, is Mario dead again? <laughs> 45 damage. Why'd that do so much? Hello, I need you to die. You're not dying yet. Why are you not dead yet? <laughs> you can't live this long. <laughs> At least I got full health and pretty much full FP. That's so good. So good! Oh, you're so good! Why aren't you dead yet? Oh boy, Mario's not dead again, is he? He lives! He lives with four- with six HP! what I needed, and now we're out of FP, so, uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> this fight, this fight's gonna suck now. Oh, oh shit, I did not put, uh, the Scarecrow resistance on Mallow. I didn't even know he could target Mallow. Because in the original, Bloom can only target, uh, Mario with Scrofunk. So that, that's just different now. Okay, that's good to know. I think we're kind of SOL here. <laughs> hey, at least Mallow guarded. Yeah, we are definitely SOL. Especially with Scrofunk. I think Mario's dead. He lives! Wait, hang on, we got healing. We got healing items. <laughs> We're okay. We're gonna be okay, I think. Actually, maybe not. I 
I think okay now I think now I think we're shit out of luck. Yeah, because now I'm stuck. now I'm like feared. Yeah, I'm dead. Alright. Was worth an attempt. Ooh. Hmm. What do I want to do now? I guess try that again? Actually, wait, hang on. Uh, let me put the... Let me put the Scarecrow Resistance thing on Mallow. More. Now that I know that Balome can target Mallow. Or what do you think? Maybe, maybe I should um, grind a level? Another level could be good. Maybe I should go back to like Mushroom Way and grind a bit. Might be a good idea. Yeah, because it's not a bad place to get levels. Just gotta kill, like, how many Goombas? <laughs> Why don't I have any FP? What the fuck? Where'd my FP go, bro? Just poofed. Vanished in an instant. <laughs> now this is a 2 hour and 25 minute stream. Wow. That's fine. I mean, if I'm if I'm having fun and gonna keep going, then that's all, that's what it's gonna do. Can't even English. That's the funny thing is that these guys give like the same amount of experience as the rats in the sewers. <laughs> like you get like no fucking experience in this hack. I don't know why. Do the, the Sky Troopers give anything? One experience and one coin. But I mean, hey, if I kill enough of them, though, Mar we're gonna get a level up here, so it's okay. And we can get an extra heal. At least I have a decent amount of FP now, though, so that's pretty good. Alright, just like one more. Actually, let me go get that heal that's over here. So I think this respawns. Yeah, it does. That's good. Alright, so now we can have Mallow do some extra stuff. And give him HP, that's not really worth it. Honestly, pow, because you can give him extra defense, and that's really nice. I can do the same for Mario and give him extra magic. Just need to give him extra magic, that's all. And then, uh, I'm assuming Scroll Funk won't do as much. Actually, I don't know if Scroll Funk is a physical or a magic attack. I think it's a physical, actually. But it's an unblockable physical. Do those even exist? I don't think they do normally. I mean, it's like a special move, you know. It's not really a. It's not really a special attack. It's like a special technique, you know. It's not actually a magic attack. If that makes sense. Alright, now Mario can get his level up. Yeah, upgrade HP is almost never worth it. You almost always want to go with attack or magic attack. 
Yeah, look at that. We're not getting level 10. No way. Okay, well, this guy is not worth my time, though. I guess the run rate isn't guaranteed. I might be thinking of Paper Mario... Not Paper Mario. I might be thinking of Mario RPG Master Quest, then. I'm getting them mixed up because they have such similar names. Alright, I just I just want to beat Balome tonight, bro. <laughs> I won't be satisfied until I do. I mean, hey, on the on the bright side, you guys get a longer episode one, which is always nice. So it's I always like it when you know YouTubers are nice enough to make a long episode one. I like long episode ones because you know you have to get all the boring intro crap out of the way. And besides, this game doesn't really get good until you get Gino anyway. Just because having two partners, having two party members is not that good. <laughs> Kind of, kind of makes the game a bit boring. But once you get Geno and you get three party members, that's when the game really starts to pick up, in my opinion. Yeah, I really like that rat. I'm running from the rats at ah. rats. By the by, by the rats. Should I fight a Gobi just to see what it's like? Fuck. Fine, I'll fight this guy. Here's the problem with fighting these damn rats, though. <laughs> and it's that, um... What am I trying to say? They drain a lot of your resources. <laughs> I mean, at least we're doing a bit more damage now. So that's nice. <laughs> Mal is gonna need, like, a big heal now. Oh. Yeah, shoot those fireballs at me. Just die already. You lived too long. I remember in Super Luigi RPG, I made the enemy kind of fake you out. There's a lot of fake-out attacks in that game. <laughs> Those are kind of funny, honestly. Like, the shadow, he, like, kind of hesitates before he attacks you. <laughs> Guess we're not fighting a Gobi after all. Shit, I should probably heal up Mallow, honestly. Where was that boo? That boo wasn't even remotely on screen, bro. Actually, my quest. I have a question, actually. But first, I need to run away and get over here. Alright. Oh no, not the three boos. The three boos! Oh, bye, Mallow. Z well, this is why we're gonna find- or this is why we're gonna find out by dying. <laughs> or, or, well, running away, rather. I need to know, does this respawn? Oh, no. This does not respawn. We have to deal with, um... With what we have, I guess. Okay. Fine, we'll deal with this. At least we have a bit- we have one extra move compared to last time. I put on the, uh... The ignore... Transformation pin, right? Well, I hope I did. Otherwise, this is gonna be a lot harder. <laughs> Eight damage now, that's a lot better. So this balloon fight is only gonna be slightly easier now. So 
slight. I say slightly because um, I'm still kind of getting my ass kicked here. He's taking 10 damage instead of 15 now, like he was earlier. Yeah, I guess I'll use a red shroom. Well, freebies are always nice. It's like 76 damage is my ideal damage, but, um, can't really do that when I'm feared all the damn time. And you just have to hope you get a lucky, um, shroom drop. Okay, I might need to red shroom again. So you do have to hit him, like, twice for him to spit Mallow out. Damn, bro, chill out. You don't need to attack Mario so much. Yeah, hey, you can attack Mallow. I'm fine with that. At least Mallow, uh, doesn't take any damage from magic attacks. That's where the easy part is. Oh no! Lightning orb, but that doesn't do anything to me! Hmm. Yeah, probably use a healing rain. And then we'll use another Sun Rhapsody. Yes! Freebie, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I need to red shroom again then. And back to being feared again. Fuck. Oh yes, I appreciate the miss. Oh, he's only now getting to the scarecrow phase. Jesus. That's really bad. <laughs> I can't believe it took him until now to get to the Scarecrow phase. Okay, thankfully we have, um, throw meeting on Mallow, so we're okay. He missed! Let's go. We're never going to do any damage, because Mari is just always going to be fucking feared. So annoying. And Scrofunk out here doing like 40 damage, like it's nothing. Okay, I, I good, I want that, that's what I like to see. Okay, now we're not feared, so now we actually do damage. There we go, much better. Okay, I need to, um... I guess we're Sun Rhapsody, then. Yes, another freebie. Ah, fucking hell, why do you have to keep fearing me, bro? I am almost dead. <laughs> Actually, I am dead. Bro, my, my luck is terrible. I hate that he spits Mallow out and it can, it's still considered a game over. That is really annoying. Well, actually, on the bright side, it fully healed me now when I respawned. So that's good. All right, we just let's just try and pump out as much damage as possible then. We 
We especially need to pump out as much damage on like the early turns anyway. Okay, good good RNG so far. <laughs> okay, good, he went for Mallow. That's what I like to see. So now we can actually do some damage. Yeah, Mallow's not gonna be- he's gonna be kind of a liability in this fight. So, it doesn't really matter if we heal him or not. I mean, of course it matters, but like... He can't- he doesn't really need to attack. Good. I have to use a Sun Rhapsody now. Really wish I got that sh that shroom juice. That would have been really nice to have, honestly. Oh, that's really bad. He's doing the Scarecrow after the Lightning Orb. Really lucky I lived there. You going for the tongue again, bro? This this below fight is actually way harder than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> like way harder. There's no reason to be this tough. He's going for it again, bro. Mario's dead, probably. Yeah, he's dead. No way is Mario coming back from that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm fine with that. Oh, he didn't... He didn't, uh... He didn't fear me that time. Thank God. I can only jump once, it looks like. Alright, I mean, I'm okay with that, I think. Eh, okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, I hate the fear status so much. It's so annoying, especially in this... Especially in this hack, it's really annoying. Oh, Mallow was still guarding. Interesting. I guess I'll jump. I mean, if Mario dies, I don't really care. We need to get that fear status off of him anyway. Yep, I'm okay with that. Oh, and if Mario's dead, he can't he can't um, eat Mallow either, so that also helps. <laughs> because the game is not allowed to do that. How many more turns are you going to do this? Okay, well, this is good at least. Fine with the fireball. I'm not fine with that though. <laughs> because now I'm out of FP, which really stinks. This guy stinks! Okay, well I guess we gotta keep Mario alive, so just keep attacking. 
that I'm out of items now, so if we die, then it's not really my fault. Oh, you're gonna do the scroll funk too? 39 damage. Mallow does as much damage as Mario now. Okay. Free turn, basically. 15! Look at that, it's nothing, bro. And we are fucked. I got my attack power back. Let's go. It won't last very long, though. Guess, cause guess what? The Lick! The Lick is back! Yes, everybody's favorite, The Lick. Wait, he's dead! He's dead! The 18 damage killed him! Let's go. Fuck yeah. Oh, that was... Uh, that might have been the toughest boss yet, honestly. We get to chill with Midas River now, at least. I've never been so happy to see Midas River in my life. Okay, but I don't I don't really care about this. I don't think you get to keep your coins though. Unless you do. Go in here and get our maybe free flower. It's usually free. Oh, well, probably is a good idea I'm ending the stream soon because I'm out of juice. <laughs> I'm glad they kept these the same in the in the, re in the remake. You can get in there if you mash well enough, but I've never... It's been a while since I've done that. Yes, get an extra coin. Whoops, I'm already, I'm already cocking it up. I keep forgetting that, like, all the coins are on, like, the bottom. I need to remember that. And then it switches back again. Oh yeah, so, random thing. I talked to Link today. <laughs> now, if you guys don't remember who Link is, I played Mario Kart Wii with him a long time ago. And he really likes Fire Emblem Fates. And I said, I, I told him, like, hey, what if maybe someday, you know, you do a Fire Emblem Fates uh, playthrough? And I don't know, he didn't say anything. Maybe, uh, maybe he will respond later. Oh, I almost got 60 coins. Then we got the... Oh, it's the Koopa shell, not the Knock Knock shell. I have an attachment to the na original name, though. Oh, it gives you speed, too. Samari so has 30 speed now. Interesting. Still have spore rings. Alright, we can go see Frog Fuchsias as well.
But I think, because he, I know, um, he likes Fire Emblem Fates more than anybody I know. <laughs> so, if he were to do a Fates playthrough, I think that'd be kind of cool. Because we're going to do Garen Quest next month, but that's not really Fates. That's just, like, a funny mod for Fates, which is, like, you know, kind of its own thing. So, yeah. <laughs> Although I am looking forward to Garen Quest, that is going to be a really funny mod. It's going to be like one of the peak, one of the peak series that will start in September. Well, and we're also, wait, I also already have plans for September anyways. We're going to do um, Persona 3 The Answer Reload or whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm probably just going to call it something like that. Even though I think... Fat List is probably just going to call it Episode Aegis or something. I don't know. I'll have to look at look it up at, on what they're calling it, actually, because I'm not sure. That one tadpole... Sit on the table. Yeah. I need to. I need to let go of mashing soon enough. <laughs> yeah. I gotta make sure you say no, no, no. Yeah, make sure you say no to Frog Fuchsius so he doesn't repeat his story like all these old people the Nintendo games like to do. Like the fucking owl in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> or, um... I don't know. I don't know any other characters that do that, actually. But it is pretty annoying when characters do that. It's like, why would anybody... Was anybody not paying enough attention that they really need a recap? That's what I want to know. I still love this song, by the way. I put this song. I put this song in Tomodachi Life now. <laughs> Alright, what is it gonna be called? Is it gonna be called the, like, the Frog Staff or something? The Fuchsia Staff. It's better than the Froggy Stick. Fuchsia Staff sounds way cooler. Look at that increase, oh my god. And three speed? I don't know what you need the three speed for, but... That's pretty cool. And here's what I'm most curious about. I want to see what the Frog Koi Emporium has. Well, and the juice bar. A cosmic cookie? Holy shit. Heals everyone's HP by 200 and nulls out effects. Star Gust. Party recovers heavy HP and boosts attack and defense. Wow, that's really good, actually. I like that. Too bad it's so damn expensive. And the Frog Coin Emporium, that's what I want to see. Power up, power all. Defense up, defense all. Fright bombs. Sleepy bombs. Fire blast. Ooh. Hit all enemies with fire damage reusable. Galaxy blast. So that's an infinitely reusable star candy. Calls a herd of sheep to attack and destroy your foes reusable. Wait, that's... Wait, they made sheep attack an item? And the star egg. Stars dance to restore all HP and FP. Oh! Now technically, I can get that late game. Oh man, all this great stuff that I wish I could have. Oh man. Too bad, though, because you get no moony in this game. 
Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good time to end the episode. That Frog Coin Porium, though, is looking pretty promising late game. And by late game, I mean when I get to Land's End, because it's pretty much the only way to grind any Frog Coins. Well, you can grind them otherwise early game if you, like, jump on Wigglers and stuff, but nobody's gonna want to do that. So, yeah. Anyways, um, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, we'll be doing more Mario RPG Masters sometime. Uh, maybe Sunday if I have the time, I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. So, uh, I'll see you guys then. Take care, and see you in the next episode.